Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the One Tough Scrubby. The One Tough Scrubby is my own design and this is a great little dish scrubby. Uh, this is actually one that I always have by my sink uh, for when I'm working on tougher projects uh, in the dish sink and um, it's just uh, has a great texture, great strength, it's a good size, it's not too big, not too small. Uh, so this is the one tough scrubby. For this project you are going to need about 30 yards of Red Heart Scrubby Yarn, about 30 yards of your favorite worsted weight crochet cotton. Today I'm going to be working with a Bernat Handicrafter cotton. You will also need a 5 millimeter crochet hook. As well, of course, you will need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle for finishing your end. You will also need one copy of the One Tough Scrubby Crochet Pattern. And this is a free pattern found on my blog at www.richtexturescrochet.com. So now that we have all of our materials together, let's get started. To begin this project, you are going to be working with uh, one strand of your crochet cotton and one strand of your Red Heart Scrubby and you're going to work them held together as one yarn. You will see if you've had trouble working with the Red Heart Scrubby in the past, uh, pairing it up with a plain cotton makes it much, much easier to work with. It's much easier to see your stitches. Okay, so we are going to start by making our slip knot. Now this project is worked in two parts. It's two sides that are seamed together in the end. So we are going to be doing, um, I guess the first side is not really a front or a back, just the first side. So we're going to hold the two strands together. We're going to make our slip knot and we are going to begin by chaining 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now for row one, you are going to begin by double crocheting in the fourth chain from the hook. Uh, for this tutorial, I am going to assume that you already have a basic understanding and knowledge of crochet and stitches such as the chain stitch, the single crochet, uh, the double crochet. As well, we will be working a front post double crochet and a back post couple double crochet, but I'll show you those in this tutorial. Okay, so once again, uh, for row one, we are going to begin by double crocheting, so yarn over in the fourth chain from hook. So I'm gonna, going to count one, two, three, four, and I'm going to make my first double crochet in that stitch. I am then going to double crochet in each chain all the way across. So there's one. Make sure you're always working through both strands. Two, three, and that you're also working in the back bumps of your chain. And if you have worked with only the Red Heart Scrubby before, you're probably already noticing a difference as far as the ease to work with. Now you can also, for this pattern, if you didn't want to add the cotton, you can just work it in the Scrubby yarn as well. Uh, it also works extremely, extremely well. The Scrubby yarn on its own dries very quickly, which makes it great for doing dishes and that kind of thing. Okay, so now I'm just coming to my last chain. If you can catch both threads there. And we should have 10, uh, 10 stitches. In this pattern, your chain three at the beginning of the round will always count as a double crochet. So you're always going to include it in your stitch count. So I have one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double crochets. Now for row two, we are going to turn and we are going to chain three. This is our turning chain, which will count again as a double crochet. We're going to chain three and then we are going to work a pattern of front post double crochets and back post double crochets. So we're going to start with a front post double crochet. So we're going to yarn over. To do the front post double crochet, we're going to skip this first stitch and we are going to work around the post on the front of our work, inserting right to left. Then you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. So I'll show you that one more time. So instead of working, normally you'd work a double crochet in the top here of your chain. So instead for the double, uh, for the front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over and you're going to be working around the post of that double crochet. And what that's going to do is it's going to push the stitch forward. Okay, and then you're just going to complete your double crochet as you normally would. Now the second stitch is a back post double crochet. So for this one where we worked through the front, the back post we're going to yarn over and we're going to go in behind our work and work around the post from the back, yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over, pull through and pull through. So that is a, the back post double crochet and we're going to repeat that. We're going to work a front post double crochet. So around the front of your work, insert your hook around the post of the next double crochet, pull up a loop, pull through, pull through, and then you're going to do a back post. So you're going in the next double crochet. So there's your next double crochet. You're going to turn your work to the back. You're going to work around that post from the back of your work. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. You're going to do the front post again. Front post, double crochet. Lost my stitch there. And then a back post. Turn your work over, pick up that post there in the back, turn over, pull through, turn over, pull through. Then you're going to do one more front post and back post, double crochet, front post, and back post. And then you're going to finish this row by working a double crochet just in the top of that chain three that we began with in our first row. This might be, there we go. And you have your double crochet. So I'll take a moment, step back just kind of show you this pattern. You can kind of see it there, how you have these uh, raised post stitches here. So these are your front post uh, double crochets. And then in behind, you have these raised back post double crochets. Now for the next row, uh, actually for rows three to six, so it's a fairly quick scrubby, you are simply going to repeat row two. So your chain three, turn your work, and you're going to begin with a front post double crochet. So this front post double crochet, it's fairly easy to find because you're just going to be working through this, uh, the post of this double crochet that is already raised. So that's your front post double crochet, and then a back post double crochet. your front post double crochet and then your back post. Your 
front post and you're going to do that all the way across. So that was row three. Oh, here, let me just... Oh, sometimes the yarns get tangled a little. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this one doesn't want to work. There we go. If you are having trouble with the five millimeter, you're welcome to move up a stitch. It will change your gauge slightly. You'll just end up with a slightly bigger washcloth, but it makes if it makes it easier for you to work with the two strands held together, by all means go up the larger size. Gauge is not extremely important for this project. There we go. So our last double crochet is just in the normal place that you would work a double crochet in the top of that stitch. Okay, so that's our row three. So you're going to repeat that, your front post, back post, double crochet, three more times. So you will have a total of six rows, and then you're going to fasten off and you're going to set this aside. So why don't uh, you go ahead and complete that and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, welcome back. I am just finishing my last double crochet in the top of that chain three, and then I am going to fasten off my work. So there you can see the first side of the scrubby. Okay, so that's my first side done. I fastened off. You can weave in your ends now if you'd like or save them for a little bit later. But uh, now we are going to make the second side of this scrubby. So I'll set that one aside. I'm going to take some more of my cotton. for you. Again, you're going to hold your cotton and your scrubby yarn together. You're going to make your slip knot and you're going to start by chaining 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then we are going to proceed, we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. So yarn over, one, two, three, four. And then in each stitch across. So there's one. Two. Three. Careful not to twist your chain, which almost happened there. Five, six, and also making sure that you catch both strands of your yarn. So you should have 10 double crochets, remembering that your chain three always counts as a stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so 10 double crochets. Now we are going to work this side of the scrubby just as we did the other side of the scrubby. So we're going to turn and chain three, or chain three and turn, however you like to do it. And we're going to begin with a back post, uh, front post double crochet. So yarn over, you're going to find the post of the next double crochet stitch. You're going to insert your hook from right to left on the front of your work. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through, and then work the back double crochet. Yarn over, turn your work so you can work at your stitch from the back. Grab 
that post of the next double crochet, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So this side of the scrubby is worked exactly the same as the first side of the scrubby. Continue your pattern, uh, front post, back post double crochets. You're going to do this for a total of six rows, and then you're going to fasten off. So go ahead, work on that. Uh, pause the video for a sec, and I'll meet you back here when you're finished. Okay, so now you will have finished two sides of your uh, one tough scrubby. And what we're going to do now is we're going to join these two sides together. So there isn't really a right or wrong side to these pieces. So you're just going to lay them on top of one another. Now you may have fastened off and we've woven uh, in all of your ends. I kind of like to cheat a little bit and I don't like to fasten off on my very last part, but instead I'll just continue to work around uh, the outside edge. So if you've already fastened off, what you're going to do is you're going to join your yarn in any corner of your scrubby and you're going to join with a slip stitch and then you're going to begin working a single uh, a row of single a round of single crochets evenly all the way around your scrubby. In each corner you are going to work three single crochets. You're always going to be working through both thicknesses. Okay, so I'm going to begin. I'm going to work my first single crochet and uh, sometimes ar around these, especially when you get to the edges, it does get uh, challenging to see where your stitches are and to pull through your yarn uh, through both thicknesses. But don't worry, just pull it. The uh, cotton and the scrubby are pretty tough, so you can be a little bit more aggressive with your yarn. Okay, so I'm just single crocheting all the way around evenly. Make sure that your pieces are flat and that your stitches are matching up. You'll have noticed by now these scrubbies are, once you know the pattern and the design, they're pretty quick to make. So they make a great addition for any Christmas gifts or other gifts for special occasions. Uh, they'll also make great contender for craft fairs and craft sales if you have any coming up that you're working on projects for. Sorry, I just got my needle or hook all tangled up there. There we go. Then once you get to your corner, you're going to work three single crochets in the corner. I have one, two, and three, and that gives you your nice, smooth, rounded corner. And it's going to bring you so that you're working along the side. Now for this, because it is rows of double crochet, I tend to like to work around the full post or chain um, of that stitch when I am working my uh, my border. You kind of want the edging to be tough because that's the part that takes the most abuse when you're, uh, at least when I'm doing dishes. <laughs> there we go. And again, once you come to your corner, you're going to work three single crochets in the corner. One, two, and three, and you're going to be working across the underside. I like this cotton and scrubby combo because it hides 
a lot of your mistakes. <laughs> It can be a bit of a tough combo to work with, though. Especially when you're working through these double thickness parts. Okay, I'm coming up to my next corner. Again, I'm going to work three single crochets. One, two, three, and then I'm going to work my single crochets up the side. You just want to make sure that you're working them evenly, that you're working through both thicknesses. That's uh, what really matters. go and I'm coming up again to my last corner now because I have already worked one single crochet in that corner I'm going to finish by working two single crochets then you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first single crochet that you begin with and then for me before I fasten off I just like to work a few slip stitches into the middle of my scrubby cloth. I feel like it just gives it a little bit more of a cleaner corner. Then you're going to fasten off there we go. and you're going to take your needle and you're going to weave in a little bit cotton just to kind of finish it off when you pull it through like this when you weave in your ends it gives a little, it a little bit of a cleaner look than if you were to uh, make a knot at the end of your yarn and there you go you have now completed your one tough scrubby Thank you so much for joining me here on Rich Textures Crochet for this uh, video tutorial. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at Rich Textures Crochet and uh, be sure to also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already where I'll be bringing you more great patterns and tutorials. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy crocheting. I'll see you next time. Bye.